Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best software you can use to live stream your church program. I know I've done a video in the past showing you how to use OBS to stream live on YouTube and on Facebook. The thing is, basically, we use OBS, but I'm not going to tell you to use this. I'm going to give you a list of options you can use and test and see which is best for you, depending on the things that are important to you. So just stick with me as I take you through a couple of streaming softwares, both free and paid. Before we go along, I'm going to ask you to like this video, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, just click on the subscribe button it'll help the youtube algorithm promote our videos to more people that can help the first software i'm going to tell you about is restream okay restream is a software that you can use to stream as the name implies you restream to multiple platforms all at once it has a couple of great features i'm going to show you right now but it doesn't have a desktop app it's actually a web-based app, so you have to log in on your browser to be able to stream. You don't, it doesn't have any desktop applications. Okay, so this is the website. Okay, so one live stream, 30 plus destinations, as, as you can see, as the name implies. I'm just going to log in with my Google account. You can log in with Google or Facebook. Uh, Logging in right now. Okay, and as you can see this, you can stream live directly from YouTube, Facebook, and maybe Twitch. Also, you can stream from Zoom and OBS. It has an integration where you can stream from your OBS, which is also a streaming software you can use independently. It also has a powerful feature where you can stream a video file. So, you have a recorded video, you can just, you know, you can stream it as a live event. So, it has all those features. You can also just record, it doesn't stream. It's also very powerful. You can do that all with Restream. So I'm not going to go into the technicalities of how to stream with this. I'm just giving you, you can check it out. Maybe I'll release a video in the future showing you how to stream with Restream. Let me show you the pricing. So this is the pricing model of Restream. You can use it for free, but it has certain limitations. You can stream to, I think, only two channels. You can, you can record videos. You cannot um, stream on Facebook groups. And it has the Restream watermark. But um, the lowest plan is from $16 per month. Okay, the monthly plan is $19 per month. But if you're taking the annual plan, is $16 per month if you take it $190 yearly. So it can help you stream up to five channels. So you can stream in five places all at once. You can store three files, uh, the maximum video size. Uh, you can record stream up to six hours. It doesn't have a restream watermark. And you can have team members, two team members, and you can have two events going on at the same time. And you can just see the higher plan, professional plan. Yeah, you can stream to eight channels. So it's just an upgrade of the standard plan. This one allows you to stream full HD, which is 1080 pixels. So that is it for Restream. The second software I'm going to tell you about is OBS. This is the one I use, and this is my favorite. It's free. Absolutely, it's an open source. You can see it's open broadcaster software. So it's open source. You can see it's open source software for both video recording and streaming. Okay, this doesn't have a web-based version. It's only a desktop app. You can download just click any of the buttons to download it it's easy to navigate i already have a video where i teach how to use obs to stream and even uh, another video where i showed you how you can get the power of multi-stream so um, the power of restream is that it helps you to stream to multiple platforms but there's a plugin inside obs that helps you to have that feature and it's also free so i did a video on that how to multi-stream with obs to youtube facebook and twitch so you can also watch the video i'll just i'll link the video somewhere here and also in the description you can just visit it to watch that video so this is absolutely free and very powerful another software i'm going to talk about now is vmix vmix has a software you can download but it's also paid you can maybe have the free trial i think it has up to 60 days free trial and you can purchase it let's see how much the lifetime license for the lowest plan is 60 dollars um, it's not that bad you can use it and uh, meanwhile vmix is almost like obs a little more complicated so i prefer obs and it's free so if you also want to test out uh, vmix you can you know get a free trial i'll put a link in the description you can get a free trial and try it out the next software i'll uh, tell you about is um, so this is the last software for this video is Streamlabs, and um, it has a desktop software you can use also very powerful okay all in one live streaming software um, you can download it windows 300 mb so Streamlabs, Streamlabs has a couple of um, features like um, you can stream from desktop, stream from the, it has a web suit, you can uh, stream from your mobile phone, it has a mobile app. 
this is very portable because of the universality of streaming experience. And you can also stream from your console directly to Twitch. So if you are a gamer, you can stream directly from your console to Twitch with Streamlabs. And as you can see, it lets you add your guests to your live stream just like this. So this is, this is uh, very, very useful if you are a gamer. Uh, I think you will like to use Streamlabs. Streamlabs is very fancy. It has a couple of widgets that are amazing, actually awesome. You can monetize your stream directly, you know, from Streamlabs. Um, it helps you to monetize your stream. You can also add certain widgets like alerts box, chat box, viewer count, spin wheel, game widget. So anything that makes your streaming engaging. So in fact, Streamlab, Streamlabs is uh, majorly for gamers. If you really like, if your stream is about engaging with your audience, then this is perfect for you. Um, but if this is a church service, I don't think you will need this much like that. I don't think you will need this much, but um, it's also it's very engaging depending on the context and what you want to use it for. Let's check the pricing. As you can see here, Streamlabs starter, this is free. You have access to the overlays and themes. Uh, Streamlabs desktop, Streamlabs mobile, but you don't have access to you cannot multi-stream and you cannot you don't you don't have access to the console. Okay, you can add only one guest, no free tipping. You can add logo, you have access to intro maker and stuff. The storage is one gigabyte and uh, you can sell merch. You have a merch store. You can stream up to four hours, you know, with watermark. So um, I think this is very powerful for free. So you can start with Streamlabs free and have all these features. And if you want to upgrade, uh, this is $149 per year. And it has the rest of the features that the free version does not give you access into. You can add up to 11 guests and stuff, 10 gigabytes and no watermark stuff. So I think if I'm to rank in hierarchy, I'm going to list my own order of hierarchy, OBS number one, because it's free and you can multi-stream and it has different functionalities you can always inculcate. You can, it has you know, a free open source library, so there are plugins you can, you can download and install those plugins to have certain features that are not originally in OBS. Number two is Restream, the reason being that um, the free version also lets you to stream at least to two, um, to two platforms. So that's also that's good. And my third pick will be Streamlabs uh, because of the themes and the overlays and all those stuff, the engaging stuff and all the features I've already showed you here. The only thing is that it doesn't allow you, the free version doesn't allow you to multi-stream. So you can choose the software you would like to try out um, with all these features that I've showed you depending on what you want to achieve and what um, you want to stream. So this, I know this video has been helpful to you. You can leave a comment telling me the one you tried out and what you observed and which one you loved the most. And uh, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you get updated every time we upload a video like this, helping your media ministry to come out. I'll be coming your way with another video sometime soon. Thank you.